What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. I am Chris. That is Mike. And today <laughs> we've got a, a couple of exclusive photos. Well, more than a couple. We got four four exclusive photos that we're going to share with you. These are from Entertainment Weekly magazine. These are, I think, maybe like a week ago. This came out. Uh, yeah, Mike and I kind of just, yeah, we kind of just gathered them together. There, there's more than four, but there's only four of them that we really want to kind of talk about between the two of us. So the, the important things. Right, exactly. So, Michael, let's just jump right into it. Why don't we? Yes. This first image we're looking at is we've got uh, Rick and Michonne carrying an ailing Carl. Carl. Yeah, burning. This is obviously the aftermath of what Negan uh, put on them. Um, so it's, it just seems very dire. Like Carl doesn't have much time to go. It's a sad image. Don't you think, you know, it's just, it's, um, we know that there's been a lot of, a lot of, uh, actors on the show that are just really upset about Carl. And this is, this image just really makes me feel, um, sad for his character. And it, it is fitting though, that, uh, that Michonne, his mother, is there essentially you know, yeah when is this know, i mean when is part. this this is this is uh, i mean they're getting they're, this is obviously when they're trying to make a break for it from the sewer i assume a lot of the first of the next episode is going to just be in the sewer and i mean if you want mm -hmm. i can pop up the next image i'm going to go yeah. to the next image which is i would assume is before they get out so i, yeah. I guess we could have shown this one first but i kind of wanted to show that one the well, firehouse first yeah, no, it's a great. You know what? I, I assume the same thing that obviously this is when they're still in there. Why would they take Carl out to bring right. him back into this place? But my my biggest thing is what led them to to have to take Carl out of there. That that Carl has to be short short uh, a short time away from yeah. Where are from they turning? Where are yeah. they? You know, do they think they can heal him? And he looks um, like to be on a stretcher here. So why wouldn't they carry him on the stretcher? You know what it is. You know what I was thinking too with the with this image that we have up now is what. You know, he looks comfortable, right? He's laying in this kind of makeshift bed yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Rick's, I mean, Rick's expression tells it all. Um, mm -hmm. Michonne being there, like I said, that whole motherly role that she took. But he looks somewhat comfortable. So was there some kind of threat or something that happened down in the Well, I mean, obviously, for them to... Things are going on up there. They didn't, you know... I, don't, I mean, it's... Yeah, that's that's my questions that I'm getting from them. It's It's what happened from this image now to get them to leave with their right, yeah. with their walkers down there or something were what what made them leave because he went from this comfortable kind of state to now they're dragging house, him across a, yeah, a, a burning lawn fire. right yeah and what do they expect to, to bring him is the biggest question that um you know eventually will get answered where, yeah like i don't i don't know what you know, and is he gonna? Is it gonna happen in the in the next in the premiere? Is it gonna happen in the next mm -hmm. episode? Like, mm -hmm. you know, if you look yeah. at if you look at the trailer, there's like a 42 second trailer, um, and for the for the premiere, and you see Rick, and there's a, uh, you know, like a not a they, tombstone, but like a cross that they've made, yeah. you know, like a, a headstone type thing, and I don't think they're gonna beat around the bush with it. I think that's just gonna be it. I think it's going to be yeah. I remember remember the one the one image. It wasn't with these first looks, but you always saw. I think it was maybe even in um, some kind of flashback or something. You saw like that stained glass. Yeah, thing. the stained glass. Yeah. So a lot of people are saying that it's like the church that he brought him into the church. Okay, they might even, they might even have like a the um, church is still like intact. a like a wake or something like that or you know what I mean or whatever it is. But yeah, I don't think Carl's making you know, it which would be this, this first episode. Right, which would be interesting because they don't actually do that for anybody. They buried them. They don't. I mean, and, and I guess they have a little yeah. bit of a ceremony, but they don't they don't take them into the church and say stuff and then go bury yeah. them. They don't do no, like that, is, you know. It is it is Carl. But it's Carl, right. So I wonder what they're gonna do. All right. Who knows? Um, Who knows? That's just obviously Let's let's get <laughs> out of Burning Alexandria and head over to the hilltop. Uh this image is now now that is baby Gracie. Who looks fucking adorable. <laughs> yeah. She's like, Hey, 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 what about me? Hey, what you doing over there? So a big thing that's going to happen is that she basically, Maggie basically killed a uh, a savior in cold blood. What's going to happen now? Like, you know, yeah. there. Well, how's that going to? What's that going to do? What are the ramifications of that? That's well, that's she's a big thing. Contemplating something. I mean, well, she's at the desk. This is right. where a lot of the thoughts and everything. Listen, if the baby, if the baby is in uh, um, a what the what the hell? Crib? A crib, duh. If the baby's in the crib and it's in like her war room and like Maggie's war room, right? This is obviously a place where Maggie is spending a majority of her time, and it's telling to me 
uh, when we get find, when we get to the next image that with this itself, what is that telling us? Is that yeah. telling us that Maggie may have some issues with Glenn's baby with her own pregnancy went, yeah. for them to put Gracie with her? Yeah, right. so that's what I'm saying. Like, so looking at this image now, she's. I mean, there doesn't necessarily need to be anything wrong, but she or no. she's just she's just is she looking at Gracie holding her belly? Is she gonna lose the baby and have Gracie? Mm -hmm. Which is a very weird thing. Oddly mm -hmm. enough, she hasn't been showing. Is she still pregnant? Is that the point? Is that why they're not having I her think, show? I think they're just. I, I just don't think it's as much time that's gone past. But dude, literally, that... this is like no time. But that's not how the last whole last season went because she was pregnant for the whole last season, mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. had to be weeks. Yeah. Not only, not only that, they planned this whole thing. You didn't plan that in a day. This is so elaborate. This plan yeah. from the beginning of season eight is so elaborate. Uh, You're not going to plan that in a day. Like listen, she's got to be weeks old. I don't know, man. It just she, it just, she should be enough to at least she would be showing showing a little pouch. So I, I don't know. I agree with that. But in, gonna, that Im in, in this image, when she you, she's definitely holding her belly. Are they fucking with us? Are they playing with us? So they just trying to throw this out to us. So they trying to throw that she's going to lose. You know the Glenn baby. It would kind of be sad that we would lose Glenn's a piece of Glenn right. for a a, a a Savior's child. Yeah. You know, um, I don't. I just don't get it. But she's looking. It. She's. Yeah. I think. I don't necessarily. I just think she's just questioning her own pregnancy. Like exactly. Look, That's what I'm I think. This yeah, I'm looking at this I'm child. Just, just I'm curious what, my belly. what's going to happen. You know. Maybe both of them will survive. Yeah, you know, I mean, who knows? It's always one of those questions, and we talked about this a lot. Um, and I'm glad we just we kind of just broke it down, and, and we just kind of focused on these four images because these are like the most important images out of the rest of them, right? Uh, that that have that have been out. But it's like, how many babies do? How many babies can we have? How many? You know, for the longest time, who knows what's going to happen with Judith? And we've had questions about Judith since the beginning. Yeah. You know, not of her parentage, but of how she'll be able to make it, how she'll be able to survive. Yeah. And now if you do have, if, if Maggie does have her child, if now we have Gracie in the picture. So why would they bring Gracie into it? You know what I mean? Why would they bring Gracie into this if, if she's going to die or something like that? And the biggest question is, how is the show going to make it sense, make it sensitive enough to where um a, a child an infant child will die on the show how are they going to do that how are they going to make it a right. you, you know what i mean and yeah. um so it's not we're not going to see like the comics with right. how Lori and and judith get it you know what right, i mean yeah. so what are they going to do in that so what do you think about that like what do you think they could do with all these kids they can't that's the thing like they're biting off more than they can chew so is that why they're just having gracie come in and be the gracie and then you know Judith does, doesn't exist in the comic. So, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, Sophia is, is still alive and, and, uh, you know, there's, there's teenagers, there's no babies except the one, except Glenn, Glenn and Maggie's baby. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, man. Thank you. But I think, I think, I think you're biting off a little more than you can chew with, with having all these babies around. Maybe they did it for, for the drama. No Just like what we're saying is yeah, what, what are they going to do? How are these babies going to live? Kind of a thing. Maybe they, I don't know. They did it that way, but who knows? I don't want to beat it to death. Knows? We'll see soon yeah. enough. Uh, we've yeah. got we've got a little over a month before we, you know, a month and a week before we get in there. I'm sure we'll get a few. I, I'm sure we'll we'll get another tra uh, another trailer, another like a teaser, yeah. or something more in depth, and maybe even some some more images. But um, yeah, guys, let us know in the in the comments below what you guys think. If you think we're off, you think we're on with with uh, our ideas about these these images that we got. I yep. mean. Some of the images that we didn't even talk about, let us know about those if you have yeah. any kind of ideas that's, with those. That's like on you. That's on you guys. You let us stuff, know. Yeah. And there's, you know, a couple um, Ezekiel images and stuff like that. So just let us know. Of course, you can hit us up at Third Person Pod right in the comments below in this video. Uh, yeah. Check us out on the Instagrams and on the Facebooks and on iTunes. You can have a listen uh, to Third Person Pod. Thanks right. for the love. Get that uh, those entries in for the Gleam for the giveaway. The Widowmaker Funko Pop. We still got a few more days with that. So, what That's else? Gonna do it. Else That's it. That's it. That's gonna do it, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, go ahead and watch our uh, re rewatch react of season That's one right. of The Walking Dead. Go check yeah, that out. Forgot. There's a couple episodes up at this point. 
uh, go check that out. And uh, we're, we're watching, uh, we're going through season one again. So uh, it's pretty fun. We're doing a little uh, discussion over there. So that's it. Thank you very much, guys. We'll see you on the next Walking Dead video from your pals here at Third Person. See you later. <laughs> Peace. Peace out.